Hello all, welcome to a, another video tutorial for the Armour 3 Eden Editor. I'm Valor from Online Combat Battalion and this video is in response to a question from Artem Omenko who asks um, how do you set a task complete when both green and red, that is independent and op4 troops, are destroyed? And let's get on with showing you how to do that. First I'll place my blue 4 unit I've set a trigger there, but we'll worry about that in a minute. So my blue 4 unit, I've just hidden him around the corner here, so when I place the independent and op4 troops, they can't see me initially. So to get your troops, you go up to Assets. Um, I'm selecting op4 here, and just any op4 faction, and placing a rifleman. Then I'm going to the green, which is independent, and grabbing another rifleman and pointing those two together to show you that this act does actually work properly. Normally these guys would be hostile to each other in the default settings of the editor when you first open it. To change that you can go to attributes, general and change the allegiances there. So the handshake icon means that they uh, will be um, friendly to blue 4 and hostile to op 4 or you can have them friendly to both or hostile to both so we'll have them hostile because they are going to be both going to be our enemies in this instance even so um, that setting is in relation to their relationship with blue 4 not each other so they will normally fight each other the way we do or the way we change that is we need to place a trigger so you go to F3 I'm going to make it a trigger that's 100 by 100 meters okay and in this we need to put activation type anybody present which is the first thing so anybody that is a human player or an AI player or a civilian, anybody present in this trigger will activate it. And in the on activation section, we need to place these two lines. East, set friend, open bracket, resistance, comma, space, one, close bracket, semicolon. And the same here, except we've switched those around. So resistance first, and then east, what this will do is they will it will set resistance so independent and east so op4 as allies they won't attack each other okay so that's the first and most important thing to do if you're going to have independent and op4 troops in the um, task of course you can make that trigger as big as you like I've just set it to that size but for those two to be friendly to each other, or those two factions to be friendly to each other, you do need that trigger. The next thing I'll do is go to Systems, Create Task, place the task down. I'll set it to All Playable Units. I'll create the task ID as Task 1, and just call it Destroy All troops and in the title description destroy all armed factions I'll set the module, module position as the default location for the task and I'll use the attack icon which will be seen by the players okay next we need a set task state so I'll place that down and select succeeded and I right click that go to connect sync to and connect it to the create task so now we've got a created task and another module to set the state of the task once it's completed I've got a trigger here also and this is to initiate the task so in here I have blue 4 present 
and a delay of let's make it 10 seconds right click that connect sync to the task okay so blue 4 needs to be within this trigger for that task to activate and what I'll do just for the purposes of this is I will just put the trigger directly on the blue 4 troop now as I've explained in other tutorials the best way to have your troops walk into this is to put an ammo box near the point where they spawn in they will definitely go to the ammo box someone will okay now we want to create a couple of triggers so that the task completes when both op4 and independent are destroyed so we're going to go to triggers because it's only a small area for demonstration purposes I'm just going to select the 10 by 10 by 10 trigger I'm going to open that up and I'm going to set the activation type as op4 not present so this trigger will t um, fire when that player is no longer present or destroyed. I'll grab another 10 by 10 by 10 trigger, place it there, and in this one, double click, activation type independent, not present. Now I need to then right click sync to the set task state, and the same for this trigger here. Now for these triggers to work, these troops need to be within these triggers. Okay, so again, if you're using a large area, say for example, you wanted to take back this hill and you need a task big enough, there is a default 500 uh, meter radius trigger. If you still want to change the size of this, hit the shift bar four times, one, two, three, four, and you can grab these things on the edge and make that a much bigger trigger if you want to. But we're not using that for this demonstration. So we've got our task, our set task state, our trigger to ensure that these guys are friendly to each other, and I've got these triggers here where they need to be for this task to work and this trigger is synced to the create task module so that it assigns it as a task so let's see how that works all right so we're in the mission we'll shortly have the task pop up there we go task created destroy all troops if you want to look at the detail of the task, the default key is J for Juliet, destroy all troops and destroy all armed factions. And that is entirely based on what you put as for the task name and description of the task. Now you'll notice that nobody started shooting at each other yet, which means the trigger to make independent and op4 friendly to each other has worked. Now you'll notice that I'll take down the independent. Oh, let's right, take down the op4 first. There we go. So both troops are now down and the task is completed. You'll notice that when the independent went down, the task did not complete because there was still an op4 troop alive within that trigger area. So both factions need to be destroyed for the task to complete, which is what I think Artem Ermenko was asking, because he asked what happens when red and green are in the same task and that both factions are destroyed, how do you create a task and complete it when they're destroyed? And that's how you do it. Any questions, comments, um, just post them in um, or down below. And if you uh, enjoyed this and got some good info out of it. Uh, like, subscribe and share with your friends. Always thanks for watching.